All right, so here we are on squarespace.com. This is one of my favorite sites to, to build a business. It's very, very simple. They have a, a bunch of beautiful templates that are tailored to the specific business type that you might have. It's an awesome, awesome website. Another good website that you can use is Wix.com. Uh, GoDaddy.com also has their own website builder. You can use platforms like Big Cartel, WooCommerce, but I have found that Squarespace offers some of the more most beautiful and customizable templates. So for the purposes of this video, we'll use Squarespace to show you uh, how we can do how we can build our own website. All right. So as you can see here, you can type in the type of business that you would like to to have, and you show it the categories, or you can just go to look at all of the templates. So you can see, you know, what is available to you and what you can customize. So if you have like a portfolio or photography website, you want an online store, a blog, professional service, you had a church, events, weddings, they have tons of different templates that you can use. For the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and go with an online store. All right. So these are all the different templates that you can see with the online store. I really like the Fulton template, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. All right. So you got this left panel here, and this is pretty much where you can control everything. And then here you can see real time what all your updates look like, and I'll show you step by step how you can update all of these things and customize the website to your liking okay so let's start with pages here is the main navigation tab where you can update and add pages as you can see you can create different types of pages with different layouts all right these are all the different options you want to add product pages create a blog an index is basically a grouping of pages same thing with a folder you would use a cover page here if you wanted to create a landing page where you can collect information. So this is, uh, you know, really you can really customize some some nice and beautiful pages using this this uh, page this this template. So what I'll show you here is how to update the specifics of one page, and you can pretty much apply that to to every different page type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this gear here. And it brings up the general page settings, you know, your page titles, navigation titles. You can update the SEO for each page so that, you know, you can optimize for this the search engines. You can add customizable images so that when it's shared on social, you can see those different images. You can also upload your own images. You can embed a video as well. So this is a beautiful platform to allow for you to customize and update accordingly. So what I'll show you here is how easy it is to just update a page. So if you're on this main interface here, what you do is you just go ahead and click where you see that it says edit and then you can type in you know anything that you wanted to say right as such. Now what you'll see is on every page you have the ability to hover over these teardrops what you do is you hit the teardrop and it gives you different types of content blocks that you can add so as you can see you can add text images videos you can embed content different image layouts you have your galleries you can summarize your contents that you're putting together it gets fully customizable I can't stress that enough you can also add more advanced elements where you can schedule appointments, you can build a newsletter, you can build a form, embed specific code, you can add products on every single page, you can layer in charts. You can pretty much embed every social element, social block onto the website. So that's something that, that's really cool to, to add a really dynamic element to your website as well. All right, so go ahead and save. Anytime you add an element or content block, what you want to go ahead and do is save, hit save, right? So you can pretty much update every single page 
and address it to your liking. So this, these templates, they generally give you the, the example pages that you would want to use for the type of store or, or business that you want to build. So that's why it's important to make sure that you select the right category because they give you the options based on those categories that you select. So like it, once again, if you want to create a new page, what you do is hit this plus button and it gives you the different page types that you can that you can add and create. Okay. And I'm gonna show you some specifics as it relates to a blog and a shop and how you can update those and how those are act and respond differently. So what you do is you go ahead and click on where it says blog and then you hit the plus button. And then you go ahead and you enter your post title. So a really cool bike story. And then you can go ahead and type it up accordingly. You can hit the teardrop again and add different elements to you make You can add an image right here. Post more dynamic. You can also add a source URL. You can also add an excerpt here to describe the blog post. Your SEO titles, you can update that here. Update your social. You can have it where your website is automatically updated directly from, or excuse me, your, your blog post will directly update and send out to your email list or your social list. You can have that connected where it just happens automatically. And then you can add location elements to it as well. All right, so go ahead and delete that. And then this is what it looks like. So you can add some beautiful, beautiful blog posts to, to just make your site more dynamic and give news updates uh, to your to your web visitors. So just go ahead and hit back. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you how you can update your shop. So you have your different products. And I'll show you exactly how you would add a product. So you go ahead and hit that here. And then you can add a physical product. You can add digital products. A service product you can is even issue gift cards so if you had a digital product basically what you would do is you would go up do the same exact process that you would with a physical product which I'll show you and then you just when you get to the point where it comes to updating the product what you would do is just upload that digital file whether it's a PDF a video or a, a audio file you would upload it in that segment and then as you can see here customers receive a link to the file and it lasts for 24 hours after they download so i'll just show you what a fully baked product looks like so you have here you know you can up the you can upload all of the images for your product then you would add you know product excerpt that pretty much describes what the product is at a high level if you have a subscription product this is where you would add that element I'll show you how to change and update your variants. So this is where you can update the pricing. You know, how much do you have in stock, the size and details of the size and dimensions of the product. And if you want to add variants, you know, size and color, this is where you would do that. And then let's see, small, black, right? And so forth. So you just go ahead and hit enter. And every time you hit enter, it adds a new element a new variant and you can go ahead and change those accordingly. If you want to add additional infos with pictures and videos, this is where you do that under additional info. If you want to collect additional information, you would do it under this form field. You can collect phone numbers, do a survey, a number of different things that you can collect right here. For options, if you want to add a thumbnail image, you would do that right here. Select the, 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 the thumbnail image of your choice. You can add custom labels. You can also show related products on your product page as well. You can update the SEO for the product. You can update the social for the product. You can also connect to your social account so that every time you update the product, it pushes out to social. So this is really cool and easy to update products. And I, 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 once again, I, I just don't think that there's a platform better than Squarespace. Now quickly, I want to show you what it looks like when you do a, a digital product. So pricing and upload, you pretty much go through the same steps that you would for a physical product, but this is where you would add the file. 
whether it's a PDF or audio file or, or video, you would add it here. And every time somebody purchases that product, it will automatically send them an email where they can access the product. Okay. Lastly, if you're running a store or pretty much any website, you want to make sure that you have your frequently asked questions set up so that you can address those questions of people coming to your website. Your terms and conditions, this is important if you're going to run ads or drive traffic because the platforms like Instagram and Facebook do not do not let you drive ads unless you have a terms and conditions site set up. It's very easy to find this. All you have to do is Google terms and conditions generator on Google and you'll get a ton of websites that give you an option to um, spit out a terms and conditions that's customized to your website that you can just plop right here so you can check that box. Same thing with your privacy policy. You can do that same thing, just Google privacy policy generator and, and you'll get something that you can customize to your website. Now if you have extra pages that you don't need, all you got to do is hit this little trash can and you know get rid of any pages that you, you might not need. So if you ever see this orange box right here, pretty much all you got to do is hit edit. This is to capture newsletter information or, or form information. You want to go to storage, connect that to your campaign list. And then here, you know, if you want it to redirect when somebody submitted their information, you can add a URL here, a specific message, and then go ahead and hit apply and save and then you're good to go. Now the really cool thing about Squarespace is that you also have this whole section where you can build pages that are not in your navigation title, but you can link them. This is a really cool tool because it allows for you to create your own funnel where you can have content on your website, but it's not in your navigation funnel or your navigation title and you can direct people to that content from buttons or interlinks within your website. So it's a really cool functionality. Now, lastly, I wanna show you how you can update your design and different things like that on your website here. You can change the template on your website at any time it allows you to customize. That's the best thing about Squarespace. Here you can lock different pages on your website. If you want to lock content, password protected, this is where you can do that. So if you want to take advantage of this Google Ads credit, they give you up to $100 spend as long as you spend 25 bucks on their platform. So it's really cool to be able to take advantage of some free money free ad dollars here I want to show you analytics quickly where you can track all of the details for your site I look at this pretty much every day so it helps me understand just the different uh, what's how my traffic is performing on my, my website and how to take advantage of, of the different traffic so as you start to drive traffic to your website you can click through here to really understand how the traffic is performing on your website Lastly, these are the different settings. So if you want to make your site public, you have to go ahead and publish it. These are the different options. These are pricing based on annually. I like to see how it is monthly, pay month to month. And you can see it's a little bit more expensive, um, but it gives you that, flex that month to month flexibility. Uh, if you're going to start off selling a product, you usually start with this option, but as you go up, you get more functionality with your website, as you can see. All right, so you can set the language and region for your website. This is where you would add all the business information for your company. You can add all of the social links to your website so it shows in your footer. Then you can add the connected accounts, which basically allows for you to embed your Instagram or your Twitter so it updates on your website. This is where you can add contributor access to your website. So if you have your website and you have someone else that's working on it, this is where you can give them permissions to do that. If you have not built it, uh, bought a domain, you can buy the domain directly from Squarespace or you can connect it from either a GoDaddy or, or another domain service provider 
this is where you would do that. If you want to add an email to your website, this is where you would do that. Your billing, update your your information, your credit card information. You can add a mobile information bar, which is basically a specific pop-up that happens only on mobile. This is where you can either track your cookies or not. And cookies are basically tags that allow for you to retarget, remarket to your customers. So it's like an individual tag that's added to every single website vi visitor so that you can follow them around the internet. If you want to add specific details to your blog, this is where you can do that. You want to customize how you can respond to comments or how they're reflected on your website. This is where you would do that. And then this is more of an advanced setting. So if you wanted to um, add your Google Analytics, this is where you would do that. If you're an Amazon affiliate, this is where you would add that information. If you had an API key you wanted to share with somebody or add HTML code, this is where you can do all of that. This is more detailed than what most people would start with. But as you get more advanced, you'll spend some time here adding code to your website. This is where you would do that want to import or export products from your store this is where you would do that um, so there's different things that you can do at a, at a deeper level once you get more familiar with the coding of website and then lastly here Soker Labs this is just a forum that allows for you to kind of share information on you know what's going on with web development and how to make websites better so once again lastly as you can see, you can update pretty much everything from the website here. You would update from the specifics of the page right here. You can click this gear. It'll bring up more details on how to update the page. Or you can update it directly from here. Uh, and it shows and updates real time. You just click and you can see that it updates. And you can update with these different sections that you click on. Squarespace is an amazing, and amazing platform to really you know, customize and bring bring out the personality of your business. Now, I hope that was enjoyable. I hope that was helpful in, in, in getting you to a point where you can build your own website. The next thing that I want to do for you is show you how to drive traffic from your website, how to use Instagram or how to use Facebook, YouTube, all of the different platforms to drive traffic from your website. The first one that I'm going to start with is Facebook. What you need to do is go ahead and click the link down below, download my next video to show you exactly step by step how you can set up your own Facebook ads, how to set up your targeting, how to find the exact customer that you're looking for so that you can drive traffic to your website and start generating money online. Don't miss out on that opportunity. Go ahead and check that video out. It will be very, very important for you to use that to jumpstart your business because once your website is built, you need to figure out a way where you can drive traffic to it and start to build your email list so that you can start to reach out to your customers and start generating sales. In my next video, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to set up your Facebook ad campaigns so that you can drive as much traffic as possible to your website as cheaply as possible. As you can see here, we've developed a history of driving some pretty cheap traffic. Facebook is an amazing tool for driving traffic. We'd love to help you understand how to set up Facebook ads so that you can drive very cheap and targeted traffic to your website. This tool is a little confusing, so we'd love to help walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up your own Facebook ads so that you can start driving targeted traffic to your website today and converting those people into paying customers. So go ahead and hit that link down below. Take advantage of that next video so that you can learn how to set up very targeted Facebook ads so that you can start earning money online today.